Maca's guides. <laughs> hey everyone, Maca here. We are on a roll with yet another 100% full game walkthrough. We're getting all of the achievements in a new Game Pass game that is called Venba, which released at the end of July 2023. You can tell by the length of the video how long it will take us. So just a little bit over an hour. This game is really easy and I'll explain everything as we go. The only thing I would recommend is you can go to the options and you can turn off camera bob. I would recommend that personally. And from then you can just play, uh, press play and we can get started. There's a long kind of cutscene cinematic thing at the beginning. And at any point in the game when people are talking, you can pretty much just mash the A button to go through the dialogue as quickly as possible. And I'll be talking during this kind of uh, opening cinematic just so that I can explain everything to you while we're kind of getting into this game. So this is a game which is a story about an Indian family who immigrated to Canada in the late 1980s. And chapter by chapter, time progresses in their lives and you learn about their family and, um, you know, their experience as immigrants and their lives. And you learn about all of that through their kind of love for cooking. So it's a pretty interesting game. It kind of reminded me a little bit of unpacking if you played that. But whenever there's these dialogue things on screen, you can kind of just go through them. And there will be a lot of little mini games where we have to complete cooking tasks. I'll explain those as they come up. And there are some missable achievements we will have to grab, but I'll make sure to point out everything you need to know when you do it. And if you make a mistake or you have to redo something, there's a very good chapter select. Once you beat the game, you can go back and replay any of the chapters as well. So we start off in chapter one in 1988. Uh, our characters here are uh, the mom and the dad, essentially. And in chapter one, we're going to have to make uh, idlis. I apologize in advance for my terrible pronunciations of all these different types of foods. I am uh, This is my first introduction to a lot of these foods, so uh, bear with me here. Uh, the way it works, though, is you're going to be cooking idlis, and you're going to be following like your mom's recipe book. And the important thing to know here is that you're not allowed to make any mistakes during the whole game. So make sure you're doing things exactly as I explain them. I'm gonna be going quite slow so that you can make sure to keep up with me. So the first thing you need to do is you're gonna to need to click the red book. This is the recipe book and it's almost like a little bit of a puzzle game trying to figure out what exactly it is that you'll need to do to make the recipe. Luckily, you're watching this guide and I figured all this out. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of a cheat sheet and tell you exactly what to do. Again, don't make any mistakes. If you make a mistake, you can try to back out, restart the chapter, or you can remember where you made a mistake to fix your mistake in chapter select. Another important theme is that during every cooking screen, you can press the Y button, which I will press. And then you're gonna to have to click the middle option, which here says about Idlis. This is called a flavor text and there's an achievement for experiencing all of the flavor texts. So we're gonna click about Idlis, how they're made, and we're gonna let that dialogue go through. And then after that, we can press Y a second time. We can click about Idlis, and then we can click how is it served. We've now completed both of the flavor texts for this recipe, and we'll have to do that for the rest of the game. Don't worry, there's a lot of like dialogue in this game, and there's only like, eight recipes or so. So after we've done both of those, we are now ready to actually cook our dish. For this, what we wanna do is you wanna select the water near the top of the screen, drag it and hover it over the pot in the middle and lay it down. Then take a towel from the bottom left and place it on the circular object near the bottom right. Then take the batter near the top left and place it onto the kind of circles on the bottom right. You can then take the idli plate and put it inside of the pot and you want to rotate it so that the three dots are kind of near the bottom of the pot, as you can see on my screen here. We're then going to repeat this process by taking a towel, putting it in the bottom right corner, applying batter, taking this plate and putting it inside of our pot cooker. We are going to rotate it again so that we can see the three dots near the bottom of the screen. We're gonna repeat this again. Take the towel to the bottom right-hand corner, 
take the batter, place it inside. We can then take the plate and put it inside of the pot. You should see something like this now. And at this point, all you need to do is make sure you've done that flavor text by pressing Y at the bottom. Uh, so you can press never mind if you have. Just gonna remind you before you go past the point of no return for this chapter, grab the pot uh, cover in the top corner and place it over the pot and then click the uh, little gauge to turn it on. And this more or less completes chapter one. In between chapters, there are moments where there is a lot of dialogue. After it cooks, by the way, just take off the top and place it away and you'll be done chapter one. If done correctly, you should receive two achievements, one for completing chapter one essentially, and then one for cooking a dish without making any mistakes. So both of those should be pretty easy. And there are significant moments in this game where there's just gonna be a bunch of dialogue to go through. So again, unless I tell you otherwise, you can just spam the A button to get through this as quickly as possible, or you're free to actually enjoy the story about this couple and, um, there's some, you know, there's some nice details, actually, kind of the way the game is set up. Uh, I don't want to spoil too much, uh, but it's 1988. They're a young couple. Um, and the next chapter is, I believe, in 1994. So about six years later, I'll rejoin you with commentary when it is appropriate. For now, I'll just be mashing the A button. Nothing you pick or say here matters until we get to our next recipe. That concludes chapter one. Nothing should happen other than you will now proceed to chapter two, which takes place in 1994. If you didn't catch the little hints there at the end of the last chapter, she was pregnant. So they had that baby who is now approximately five years old um, and they have named him uh, Kevin. There's a couple little recipes here in chapter two to get us through the chapter. There's also like uh, chapter three and chapter five are kind of just all dialogue. Um, so there's a couple chapters that might seem like they're kind of long and this game's gonna take a while, but there's a couple chapters that are like super easy and you'll get through very, very quickly. Also, the threads of the things we're trying to go for throughout the playthrough to remind you, we are trying to get all of the flavor text out of the way, which is that option at the bottom of the screen with the Y button. We're trying to make sure we complete every recipe without making any mistakes as well, which is pretty important. You can chapter select your way through the recipes after the game, but you might have a harder time unlocking the achievement if you can't figure out where you made a mistake. Again, for these dialogue choices, it doesn't matter what you choose. Just mash the A button until you are allowed to do the next recipe. Again, I apologize for my, my pronunciation. I believe this next recipe is for Puttu, which is a 
coconutty kind of uh, rice dish. Um, I'm going to teach you how to make it and feel free to experiment and try to make it in real life if you want. Uh, but for now, I'll just uh, keep tapping A to get through the dialogue. All right, so this recipe is kind of like a two-step process. There's the first process, which is making the flour. And then there's the second process, which is actually making the dish. Uh, both of these uh, screens will have their own flavor text, which is that Y button I was talking about earlier. So we're gonna make sure we both gra grab both of those. But we're gonna have to start by clicking the red book, which is gonna kind of give us some of the recipes, which uh, we don't have every step. Some of the steps don't work correctly. And uh, I'm gonna just use this as a great time to do this because I think it's good habit. Press Y right after interacting with that book. Click storing the flour. This is our flavor text for this scene. And now we can actually go ahead and make the recipe. Grab the soaked rice, put it into the blender in the bottom left corner, and then blend it. After it blends, it'll go back into the bowl. Take the blended rice and then put it in the sift i believe it's called in the top right corner um it's spelt s-i-e-v-e -E, but i would call this a sift hopefully that makes sense to you guys with the blended rice in the sift you just shake it over this kind of towel area near the middle until it no longer comes out like a floury powder after it's no longer coming out take it and hover it over the blender blend it again. We're now going to blend some of the chunks that got left over back again. We're going to take the new blended rice, put it back in the sifter, take the sifter and then sift it over this towel here again. We will end up with some chunks again. We'll put the chunks back into the blender when we're done sifting it. We will blend it a third and final time to get out the remaining chunks. We can then take the blended rice, put it back into the sifter and sift out the rest of the flour until there are no pieces of rice left. Once you're done with all of the rice, you can just make sure you got that flavor text storing the flour. You can click never mind if you have. You can then pick up the entire blue towel and place it into the water bowl in the bottom right hand corner, making sure you didn't make any, make any mistakes along the way. All right, our next scene is actually creating the dish itself. Let's start by clicking the red book in the top of the screen. After the dialogue, let's do the, our next little duty on every recipe, which is to click the Y button, click other garnishes, and then just go through this flavor text for this scene. Now, the next thing what we wanna do is take the water from the bottom right-hand corner and put it into the kettle, which is near the bottom right hand corner i think i might have said my left and my right's wrong take the water from the bottom left into the kettle on the bottom right and then you can take this filled kettle and just place it on the stove but don't turn the stove on just yet in the top right corner you'll have coconut flour and putu flour and you're gonna have to put them inside of the mold but you have to do them in this very specific way we're gonna start with one scoop of coconut powder then we're gonna do two scoops of putu flour. Then we're gonna do one scoop of coconut flour. And then we're gonna do two scoops of putu flour. You'll see the kind of uh, color and uh, design that I'm going for here on the right. And then you can finish it off with another coconut flour. And you should have this kind of like layered sandwich style of thing. And now once we have that filled up exactly as so, you can take the lid, put it on top of the mold, take the covered mold, put it on top of the kettle. 
and then you can interact with the stove to turn it on and finish this recipe, making sure you have used the other garnishes flavor text before moving on. This should complete chapter two and our second recipe of the game. If done correctly, it should that cutscene should look as follows. We will have to chapter select this chapter again after we complete the game and make a mistake on purpose, but that'll only add about five minutes to our playthrough at the very, very end of the video. Don't worry, I will take you through all of the achievements you can possibly get. At this point, we just finished chapter two. There's a little bit of dialogue to get through and then we will start chapter three. Chapter three is a little bit in the future, but in chapter three, there are no recipes. There are no decisions we need to make. There's really nothing to do in chapter three other than to experience the story itself. So as long as you want, just go through the story as quickly or as slowly as you want to enjoy the game. And for me, I'm just going to be clicking A as quickly as possible for the purposes of this video. And I'll probably rejoin you with commentary in about five minutes during chapter four. If you do want a little bit of a hint as to what's happening in the story, just so you can understand it, uh, the mother is trying to become a high school teacher. And uh, I believe in this chapter, she had a rejection letter. Uh, Kevin is the child in the middle. And in the next chapter, they'll be a little bit older. Oh, <laughs> 
And with that was the conclusion of chapter three. If you do want to do a quick achievement check, we're at 240 out of a thousand gamer score. And we've now fast forwarded to the year 2006. Our child in the game is ready to graduate high school and move on to university. So we're going to go through as quickly as possible through all the little dialogue, unless you want to experience it at your own pace, feel free to do that. But we're going to hop in at the beginning of chapter four, straight into a recipe for biryani. Uh, trying my best again with these pronunciations. Uh, in my head, I say them correctly. Then I watch the video back and it, I'm saying it completely wrong, but it is what it is. This is another one that's a two step process. So we're going to start off by getting through some of the dialogue here. And then we're going to click one of these kind of fog bubbles near the top of the screen. And once you are done with the fog bubble, this is kind of the tutorial as to like how you're supposed to figure this out for yourself. You would click all the fog bubbles and basically piece everything together as if it were a puzzle. I'm going to solve that puzzle for you. But before we do that, make sure you click Y. We're going to be doing the flavor text achievement for each recipe. So make sure you click finding these ingredients and then you can go through that um, little dialogue bubble about all the ingredients being available in Toronto. If you're watching this video, I'm actually from Toronto. If you didn't know that some people are very surprised to learn that I'm Canadian. Now, once you do get through that, let's go ahead and put together the recipe starting in the bottom right hand corner. You want to start with the fennel seeds. Near the fennel seeds, you can also find the cloves. You can then slightly above that find the bay leaves. And then up at the very top of the screen, you can find the cardamom. Those are our first four ingredients, making sure we put them in correctly. And we can then move on to the next step. For the next step, we have to go in a very specific order. So go with the onions first near the top of the screen. Then at the very top of the screen, go with the chilies next. After the chilies, go with the ginger garlic paste. And then after that, go with the tomatoes in that specific order. For the next step, it doesn't have to be a specific order, but I recommend just following me along. Uh, there are three spices on the right hand side. So we're going to add the masala, we're going to add the turmeric, and we're going to add the chili powder. And then near the left bottom of the screen, we're going to add the salt. After that, you can put in the marinated beef, which has to be the last ingredient on the table other than the water. After the marinated beef, you can add the water from the top right corner and this smells divine. Make sure that you get the flavor text done before you did the water, but if you're following the video, that was the first thing I did when that recipe showed up on screen. Now we're actually gonna make the biryani. This is a little bit more complicated, but not too complicated at all. Start by clicking the red book in the top right corner. And then after the dialogue, we're gonna click Y and get our flavor text out of the way. Uh, we can't actually do that until we click the little fog bubble near the middle of the screen. And once this comes up, you can just press B to dismiss it. And then we can press Y for our flavor text. Click type of biryanis. And then you'll get some information about that dish. After that, use the empty red bowl from the right hand side of the screen and interact with it using uh, in the middle. Once you have that bowl full, you want to take the rice and put the rice in the pot in the middle. Add the red bowl back to the middle. And then on top of that, add more rice. Once you have this, Add all of the remaining ingredients, including mint, saffron milk, fried onions, cilantro, ghee, and cashews. This should finish off the recipe, making sure that you didn't actually make any mistakes. Double check that you did get the flavor text. And all you need to do to finish the recipe is to cover the pot. 
and then you can go through the dialogue here. R take the pot off the top to reveal the dish inside, finishing off chapter four. And moving on now to chapter five. We'll also get the family beef achievement here, which is basically just for progression. And here we'll have a conversation with our son about how he is moving away to university um, now that he's older. Uh, I would invite you to experience the story if you feel so inclined. But if you just want the quick summary, he's headed off to university and he doesn't even let his parents go and drop him off. He's just going to go and like catch a ride with his friends. And uh, I think the parents are a little bit sad about that because I think they kind of wanted to go and, and accompany him there. Um, chapter five has no recipes, which is coming up, but there is a missable achievement in chapter five that has to do kind of with some of the dialogue stuff. So I'll explain that uh, when we get there. So don't worry, it's very hard to miss and you can always do a very quick chapter select if you do miss it but there will be a segment in chapter five near the end of the chapter where we're using a cell phone and we have to scroll up and down in the cell phone uh, before we proceed with the kind of text messages. So for the next couple minutes, at least, I'm going to just be pressing A as quickly as possible to get through chapter four and most of chapter five. Uh, try to keep up with me and I'll rejoin you with commentary when it is uh, so, uh, when it's gonna be useful basically. So once we're in this scene, we are in chapter five. I also did lie to you in the last little piece of commentary I had. There are recipes in chapter five, but you literally can't mess them up. I will guide you through them just so that you're on the same page as me. But there's like, it's basically just like a QTE quick time event, a uh, little mini game that'll show up on screen. We're gonna basically, what happened was we invited our son to come home for dinner and we're gonna make him this like amazing, tasty meal. There's gonna be like six different dishes, a table full of food, and that's what uh, a lot of chapter five is. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna wait just a second here, and we're just gonna rotate the left stick to create these kind of spirals. And we're gonna have to create three of them. This is our first of six dishes. I don't know what this dish is called, but we're just gonna create some spirals to start. And you'll see what I mean by you literally can't make any mistakes. They're gonna start frying in the oil and eventually they're gonna start floating and they're gonna turn like golden brown. Once they do that, just click on them and then that will automatically put it on the plate for you. And you're just gonna have to do this for all three of them in order to complete our first of six dishes. 
There's our second little spiral. And then here is our third little spiral. You can keep your eyes peeled at the bottom of the screen for the Y button, but uh, I'm almost completely certain that there are no flavor texts available in chapter five. So there's really nothing you can miss or do wrong here. I haven't tested out if you're not paying attention and something does burn, maybe you could fail, but I'm not sure. For this next dish, just use your spoon and fill up all seven of the circles on the kind of frying pan on the little uh, pan here. I think this is ghee, but I'm not sure. After you fill up all seven, you'll have an ingredient change and then you'll want to fill up all seven again with this next ingredient. And it's very easy. You're just dragging from the left into the right and then dropping it into the circles. After that, you're just going to wait for them to start, like, basically sizzle. And eventually, some of them are going to get lit up with this white circle, and you're just going to click them to flip them. This is pretty much automatic. I don't know if you wait too long if you can fail, but I don't think they can burn. So you're just flipping them over when the game tells you to flip them over. And then after they're all flipped over, they'll start getting highlighted white again, and you're just going to click the one that's highlighted to put it on the plate automatically. Again, you can be very quick, or you can take your time uh, a, a little bit slower than me if you want. After you get all seven of those onto the plate, that is our second out of six dishes done. I think they do get a little bit shorter and a little bit faster coming up here. The next one is the fish. All you really have to do here is click the A button to slice. One, two, three. And then the fish will automatically flip over and you'll have to slice one, two, three. After slicing it, you're gonna apply some of this, I guess, chili paste to the side of it. It's gonna flip over. You're gonna apply the chili paste again and then the fish will go onto another frying pan. You're gonna wait for it to start glowing white to let you know that you can flip it over. So once you can flip it over, flip it over, and then when it's glowing white again, you can press on it and it'll automatically get plated. And we are now done three out of our six dishes for chapter five. Again, no flavor texts, and you really can't make a mistake during this chapter. But uh, I think the commentary will help most people just be able to do it a little bit faster. For this next dish, take the little plate and put it inside of the middle of this uh, kind of wok style bowl. You'll get a second ingredient from the right. Put that in the bowl as well. You'll get a third ingredient. Do the same thing. And then you'll get some chilies and do the same thing for this as well. And then this last ingredient, which I'm not really sure what that is. Put that in there as well. Couple leaves. And that will be uh, added automatically to another dish for our next main dish for the spread. Kevin's supposed to come over and we're supposed to enjoy a nice dinner together. The next dish here is we're waiting for the little pressure cooker top to kind of like explode or whatever. And then we can remove the cooker top, remove the lid. Then we can add the item from the right into the pot. Then we can add the little herbs. You have to like pick them off and then they'll get dropped into the uh, food we're cooking here. So just click all the leaves off to put them inside the pot. I believe that's dish number five, if I remember correctly. And then for our final dish, there's a couple of drumsticks here, and all you're going to have to do is flip them over when they start being highlighted in white.
This one does take a little bit longer for those uh, drumsticks to get highlighted, but it is just as easy as all the other mini games for this chapter, luckily. After you flip all of them over once, you'll be able to interact with them again, and this time you'll plate them automatically. Again, we're waiting for them to get highlighted white. Or is it going to be automatic? I guess we'll find out here. I guess that one is automatic. This game was simple enough that I'm actually recording my commentary on like my essentially second and a half playthrough. Usually I do three or four playthroughs before I record a video like this, but I thought this game was easy enough uh, that we didn't really need all that extra playthrough. Now here's an important part at the end of chapter five. We've made all the food for our son to come and visit. We're waiting for him and he does not show up. What a very, very sad moment in the game. Now there is some dialogue here, but it is actually very important that we choose the correct thing for this mm -hmm. section of the game. Our phone is gonna ring here. We're gonna get automatically kind of put into the phone and you wanna scroll all the way to the bottom, then scroll all the way to the top. Once you reach the very, very top, scroll again all the way down to the bottom again. And only once you scrolled up and down do you wanna press A to continue. Our son ditched us and did not come to dinner. But because we scrolled up and down on the phone, we should get a very missable achievement to unlock at the end of chapter five coming right up. I believe it's called Silicone Heartbreak. Also, if you didn't piece one and two together, the mom's name, I believe, is Venba, which is what the game is named after. So you can kind of, you, you might be able to see kind of where the game is going to progress to. And she's obviously pretty upset about her son essentially not wanting to spend time with her or do any or you know have anything to do with her we did get some good news though she got accepted to her position as a teacher and this is our missable achievement called silicone heartbreak which was for scrolling up and down the phone we do have another achievement coming up right here where we have to scroll up and down a phone this is chapter six. In chapter six, we'll actually be playing as Kevin now. Uh, he is a little bit older and he'll be texting with his boss. And at the end of this conversation, we'll have to scroll up and down. But the conversation goes for quite a while before we get there. You will have to individually send off these texts. So you can send them off. Eventually, you'll write this super long paragraph and then you'll delete that entire paragraph. And then at that point, we have to scroll up and down the phone. So I'll rejoin you with commentary once we get to that point to point it out. For now, you can essentially just tap A as quickly as possible. Just don't get ahead of me too far in the video. All right, so right here, you'll see that we're writing this really, really long paragraph, um, kind of explaining why we aren't on board with the idea uh, that Chris has. And then eventually you'll delete this entire message. This is an important part because we're actually gonna be scrolling up and down here uh, in order to get our other achievement, which is uh, called, what is this one called? Let me figure that one out. It's called Doom Scroll. So we have to send this message here. 
where we say, yeah, I'll check my mother's recipe book. But before continuing, scroll all the way down, scroll all the way up to the very top of the text messages. Just to be safe, I'm gonna scroll all the way back down to the bottom. And only now am I gonna press continue. This should get us the doom scroll achievement to unlock, uh, hopefully pretty soon, or there it goes. It popped up on screen now. So now we are playing Kevin, who I believe is like 25 years old by this point in the game. Uh, he's going to be trying to use the recipe book to make, um, I think, Rasa Masala. Uh, there's a couple of different steps to this, but basically he is going to be trying to like the puzzle in Chapter 6 relies on the fact that the book is not written in English and his Tamil is not that great. So he has to kind of figure out uh, the puzzle's trying to like figure out the recipe without actually knowing exactly what it is. Luckily, you're watching this video. I know everything there is to know about this game. I am a Venba expert, if there ever was one. So let's get through all of the recipes here together and uh, make sure it's uh, nice and easy for everyone to make sure we don't make any mistakes, make sure we get all the flavor text, make sure we get all the missable achievements so that in that one hour and 10 minutes you're watching this video, you'll have that 1000 gamer score uh, to be proud of. All right, so here we're gonna interact with the red book and we're gonna press back. After the dialogue, we can press Y to get our flavor text. And here we're gonna say the recipe book, go through that flavor text and we can now actually go ahead and complete the uh, recipe. We're making tamarind water. So what you wanna do is you wanna take the tamarind in the top left corner and put it in the bowl at the top. You wanna take the water and put it in the bowl at the top as well. You then want to use this sifter. I'm just gonna call it a sift. Correct me in the comments down below if I have no idea what I'm talking about and put this on the bottom bowl Then hold a on the bowl at the top to mix it after it's mixed and the color has changed You can pour it through the sifter on the bottom bowl What you then want to do is you want to basically repeat this process take all the leftovers put them back in the bowl at the top pour more warm water into that bowl Put the strainer, thought of a new word for this, on top of the bowl at the bottom. Make sure you mix the bowl at the top. And then again, pick the bowl up and pour it through the strainer. Take that strainer, put it back in the bowl at the top. Put more warm water in that bowl. Put that strainer on the bottom bowl. Mix the bowl at the top we'll notice that the water isn't really changing color, which means we're basically done getting all of the tamarind extract out of the tamarind. We're gonna pour that through the filter at the bottom. So we basically just did that process three times. We made sure we grabbed the flavor text and we are now ready to go on to the next part of this uh, little recipe. This is called the Rasa Masala. I just remembered we are making a kind of a kind of a chicken noodle soup type uh, deal, uh, but for this culture. So the first step says toast both of the grains first. It is a mistranslation. So the two ingredients we're going to have to put in are any second here. Well, I'm actually gonna skip this step. We're gonna do the flavor text first. We have good habits going. So we're gonna click about soups. We're gonna go through the about soups flavor text to make sure we get that achievement at the end of the game. After that flavor text, we're gonna go with the first step, which is adding the cumin, which is near the top right hand corner. And we're going to add the mustard seeds, which is near the middle left. That's our first step. Step two says add red leaves and green chilies. What we need to do for this step is add the red chilies near the top left. And then add the curry leaves from the top right. That is our second step, and you have to do that correctly. 
this next one will say to add a bunch of stuff. What we need to do for this third step is put in the shallots from the far right. And then put in the ginger and garlic from the bottom middle-ish. Those two ingredients will complete step three. For this next step, what we're going to do is we are going to add the tomatoes in. After the tomatoes goes the tamarind water from the bottom left-hand corner. And for our final step, we're going to put in the salt. And we're going to put in the rasam powder. Again, I apologize if I'm pronouncing certain things incorrectly. I'm trying my best here. If done correctly, you will not have made any mistakes. You'll have read the flavor text and we will be on to the next recipe, which is for the chicken stock. We do have a little bit of, me of memory here about when our mom cooked this for us when we were ill as a child. We're going to go through uh, any of this dialogue here. It isn't very important, to be honest. All right. The next step is to make the chicken stock. Our good habit is to press Y. And we don't actually have a flavor text here yet or we won't have one at all. But you wanna take the water and put it inside of the pot in the middle, then put the salt in the middle, then put the turmeric in the middle, then put the bone in chicken in the middle. We're going to cover this pot with the lid. We're going to double check the flavor text. Again, there isn't one, so we're gonna press never mind. After you put the lid on, you want to put the cooker weight on top of the lid. And then you want to use the stove controls to turn the stove on. At this point, we just have to wait a little bit. There will be a small little cutscene here. Again, we're reminded of our childhood when we had this, when we weren't feeling well. <coughs> and then to finish this off, we will remove the cooker weight and we will remove the lid, and that will complete that section of this recipe. There's still one more kind of step here to finish it off. So this is the last step here. We have to mix these together, but make sure you do it as I do it. After all of the dialogue, there is no flavor text, so there is no why. We wanna take the chicken stock, which is in the big pot on the right, and we wanna add it to the red pot on the left. Our last little step is to add the coriander from the top and then put it into that pan as well. And that should complete chapter six. Again, there was a couple flavor texts and there was hopefully, you know, no mistakes made either. If you want a quick achievement check, I'm at eight, 580 out of a thousand. Only chapter seven left, then we have to replay chapter two. And there's some dialogue now, which you can skip through until we're ready for the next recipe.
All right, chapter seven takes place in 2017. We'll be making, as far as I've understood, we'll be making three different types of dosa. And there is the regular dosa, there is the uthapam, and there is the kari dosa. Uh, during the uthapam, there is a specific thing we'll need to do for an achievement, but it's all pretty easy um, in general, as long as you follow the very specific steps, and I'll try my best to go very, very slowly. Go through all of the dialogue on screen here. <clears throat> You'll get a little bit of a tutorial from your mom as to how this works. Good habit comes first. Press Y. Get the flavor text about dosas. And make sure you let that go through before we actually start with the recipe. Now for the recipe, we're going to pour water on the pan first. The next step is to set the stove to the lowest setting by interacting with the little temperature gauge. We'll then use the dosa batter and we'll put it on the pan in the middle. We'll then rotate the left stick to spread this around. I don't know why it took so long there, but just rotate your stick to spread it. After it's spread, we want to add oil. After you add the oil, you want to interact with the temperature setting to make it go hot. And then once the outside edges turn dark, you want to grab the flipper and flip it. And then you want to grab the flipper again and flip it. We have created our first standard dosa. Our next recipe is the Uthapam. It's a very similar recipe, but there's some extra ingredients we can add. You want to make sure you do not add the chilies. Our mom kind of described this one as being more similar to a pizza. Good habits come first, press Y. And here we're gonna talk, we're gonna ask for healthier modifications. Let that text go through. Our first step is to add water to the middle, turn down the heat to the lowest setting, take the batter, put the batter on the surface. <clears throat> I apologize, rotate your stick in order to spread the dosa batter evenly. This next step is the important step for the achievement. So we are allowed to add toppings. Just add the exact same toppings that I add if you want to make it as easy as possible. You have to add the ghee. So add the ghee. And then I'm just going to add the carrots from the bottom left corner. After we add the carrots, you can add other ingredients. But again, if you add the chilies, you'll miss out on an achievement. You then want to interact with the temperature control to make it hot. Grab the flipper to flip it once the edges are toasty. Grab the flipper again to flip it onto the plate. And that is our second type of quote unquote dosa that is completed. The last one is called a kari dosa. Again, I apologize if I'm mispronouncing these. I've learned as many of them as I can. We did get this little achievement to pop up on screen for making the uthapam without the chilies, which is the one I was talking about earlier. For the final one here, go through the little dialogue. Make sure you do your good habit. Click Y. Click what does Kari mean? This, I believe, is our final flavor text in the game. Although I don't know when the achievement will unlock either right away or at the very end of the game. We'll find out together. I guess at the very end of the game, which is what I thought. Then we're going to pour the water on the pan. We're then going to control the stove to the lowest setting. We're then going to pour the dosa batter on the cooking surface. We're then going to spread it by rotating the left stick. Then there's a bunch of ingredients we have to put on in a very specific order. So try your best to pay attention here. We are literally almost done the game. 
All right, for the toppings, we are going to start with the ghee from the bottom left-hand corner. The next one is the beaten eggs from the bottom right-hand corner. The next ingredient is the curry. And then you want to do the coriander from the top right corner. After that, what you want to do is use the stove control to make it on the maximum heat. Wait till it gets a little toasty. Use the flipper to flip it once. Use the flipper to finish the recipe. At this point, there should be a bunch of dialogue that happens. And you can basically skip through it, and a whole bunch of achievements should also unlock. We'll get one for the flavor text, one for getting flavor text, doom scroll, and silicone heartbreak. We should get one for doing all of the recipes without any mistakes. And uh, they'll just kind of keep popping for a while until we reach the, basically the end of the game. I'm going to let this play out. There's still one more achievement to go, so don't quite end the video. If you're missing an achievement, that is to be expected. And I'll teach you exactly how to get that last achievement in about five or 10 minutes. Uh, from now, in five or 10 minutes, you'll be done the game. You can, uh, you know, update your true achievements profile with it. You can delete it from your hard drive, whatever it is you want to do, replay it for fun. Uh, but let's just get to the very end and finish it off while we're here. There's some little cute moments here. You're revisiting your parents' home country. You're wearing glasses just like your dad did. Um, you know, you and your mom are kind of sharing like a kind of uh, important relationship moment in your life. Uh, if you actually pay attention to the story, it can be pretty cute at times. Um, very much like an emotional kind of storytelling experience. Um... I didn't love the game because of how the I wasn't a big the biggest fan of like the gameplay kind of loop where you were using the cooking recipe book to figure out the recipes. Um, I just don't know if it was for me, but I think a lot of people will kind of like the casual style of this game, and you actually learn a little bit about like another you know people's culture and their food and all that stuff. So um, I actually kind of like this game. I think it's cool and unique. I think it's really nice that it came to Game Pass too. And the reason we're waiting for the game to finish is because once the game finishes, you can try the chapter select. Uh, so that's what we really want is the chapter select, which is available to us once we beat it. Again, we're just replaying chapter two. If you did miss any of the flavor texts, if you made any mistakes on the recipes, you can replay specific chapters that you messed up on and you can mop up all of that stuff very easily after your first playthrough if you want. So these are the credits. You can skip the credits by holding like, the start button or, or the hamburger button. I don't know what people call that button anymore, to be honest. And this should bring you back to the main menu. If you want to do a quick achievement check, you should be at 950 out of 1,000 with one achievement left called Vada Poch or Vada Poche. I'm not really sure. But from the main menu, click Chapters and then click Chapter 2. And we do have to replay like a majority of Chapter 2 here to get this achievement. So bear with me, a lot of this you'll have experienced before, and some of this is just kind of dialogue. So we're going to click A over and over and over again until uh, we get to the recipes again.
All right, so we're now at the recipe table, and uh, I did a little bit of Googling while I was uh, recording this video, and I learned that the item that you sift with is called a sieve. I didn't realize they are basically like the same, kind of the same word. You use a sieve to sift a powder. You learn something new every day. I'm probably the only person on Earth who didn't already know that. We're going to interact with the red book to get started on our recipe here. It's okay if you make mistakes at this point, but just try to get through this as quickly as possible. Soaked rice goes in the blender. Blend it. Put the blended rice into the sieve. Take the sieve and sift the powder onto the towel. Waiting until we have a couple of chunks left. Put the chunks back into the blender. Blend the chunks. Take the newly blended rice into the sieve and sift it onto the towel. Take the remaining chunks, putting them back into the blender, blend it, and sift one last final time. Not much of a baker if you didn't put one and two together. Once you sift all of the flour out, dunk the towel into the water to get to the next scene. Now, for this achievement, what we need to do is we need to fail this and we need to basically make it incorrectly. So interact with the red book and just follow as I show here. What we're going to do is we're going to take the flour. There's remember coconut flour and put to flour. So we're going to take the put to flour into the mold and then we're going to do coconut coconut. We're basically making the reverse which is not going to work. And then put the put to flour, two coconuts again, and then this flour at the top. You can see the kind of appearance of this so that you can make sure you have this same one. Put the water into the kettle, put the kettle onto the stovetop, put the lid onto the mold, put the mold onto the kettle, and then interact with the stove burner because we did it incorrectly, as we try to make the rocket, it will fall apart. Hopefully unlocking our final achievement here. If you found this video useful, I would appreciate you dropping a like. Consider sharing the video with a friend. I also do have a Patreon and super thanks enabled on YouTube if you want to further support the channel. Thank you so much for watching. A special thanks to everyone on Patreon for supporting the show. And hopefully I see you in the next one. Peace.